A Toronto police officer is at the center of controversy tonight. This is for allegedly watching hockey while on duty. These images, take a look, were taken on Saturday night of a scene, at a scene rather, of a double shooting. An NHL game visible on the screen of the cruiser's computer. The image is leading to a lot of questions tonight. Our Sean O'Shea has the story you'll only see here on Global. Saturday night in Thorncliffe Park in East York. Police have been called after a double shooting just after 8 p.m. Two people are seriously injured. Witnesses say several people fled the scene on foot. This is what's known as an active crime scene. So why isn't the officer in this police cruiser looking for suspects or appearing to be working? Turns out he's watching a hockey game on his police computer. Our camera operator notices the Ottawa Senators and Philadelphia Flyers are playing on the screen. We showed the images of the police officer to local residents. That's extremely inappropriate. They should be out searching for people who are doing something, not watching the hockey game. It's not the right thing to do, yeah. He had to do his job, I think. This area has been home to several shootings and violent crimes in recent months. The officer watching the game is part of a newly created unit called the Public Safety Response Team. Its mandate is to respond to extreme events, the protection of critical infrastructure and public spaces, as well as other specialized duties. The hockey watching officer is in a supervisor's vehicle, usually reserved for a more senior officer like a sergeant. We asked Toronto police whether the officer broke any rules. In a statement, spokesperson Megan Gray wrote, Thank you for bringing this to our attention. Generally speaking, our members are expected to use all equipment for police-related business. For this particular incident, the images have been sent to the unit complaints coordinator at the officer's unit for review. We also asked the police union for comment. Recording police officers is nothing new, President Mike McCormick told us. Our officers realize when they're on duty that at any moment someone can pull out their phone and they're on video, adding, our officers are highly trained, professional men and women who work hard to keep Toronto one of the safest cities in North America. A picture is persuasive. He shouldn't watch the hockey game on the police uh, equipment. He was on duty. Does it send the wrong message? Yes. This mother says she was at home Saturday night, right near the shooting scene. I actually live in the building there and I could see it was all taped off. There was nobody walking around, there was nobody searching for things, so clearly that's what they were doing, was watching the hockey game. You don't like that. So Absolutely. Sean, what discipline could this officer be facing? What's the rules? Probably not very much, even though this is a violation of the rules. Uh, the reality is it won't go to the level of the professional standards. It'll probably be dealt with at a divisional level. But in that community, for, you know, I, I've been in that community over 30 years many times, and people in that particular area often struggle with English because they've come here at a, you know, in the last few years. One thing they didn't struggle with when I showed them the photos is the idea that this was something that's wrong. There's a shooting, hmm. somebody has to be found, and a police officer's watching hockey. And you know, the relationship between police and the public right now is so important. So, you know, rules or whatever they are, it's, it's the optics it's, too around it's, this. It's very poor, at least it's very, very poor optics, and people in that community told me that. All right. Sean O'Shea, thank you so much.